G'day guys, how are you? In today's video I'm going to show you how you can copy multiple text boxes to other text boxes if the first text boxes that you originally clicked from have been deleted. So you can just continue to paste, paste, paste even though they've been deleted. So this works well if you've got like say a database and you want to copy the previous line to the current line um, and just change a few details and, and so forth. So let's begin by going to classic desktop windows forum I'm just going to call it coffee buffer which is just what I've named it for this particular tutorial um, so let it load up it's going to create the project uh, after that we can maximize the forum and we can now put some text boxes there just for the sake of the video um, I'm just going to copy a few of them just so you guys can see so let's just Put them here like this, and hopefully they're in the right order. Just go to my properties, and I'll pin that down so I can see what number it is. That's six. This should be five, four, three, and so on. Okay. Next, what I'll do is just for the sake of the video, I'm just going to put in a few labels so we know what we're dealing with now. So, where's the edit? There we go. I'm just going to put in name. And uh, I guess I can copy that label for the next one to go across. This one will be, let's just put age, I suppose. Age E. And uh, we can now copy that across to the next one. And the next one I'll do it will be color. Now, you're probably thinking that you can just go to textbox one equals textbox two or whatever, blah, blah. That was so wrong. Which you know you can definitely do. What did I do that for? I was meant to do that. Which you can definitely do. Um, however, the idea of using this particular method is if you, for some mistaken reason, delete the first text box or something like the data that was in there, rather than having to rewrite it all over again, you can just simply press the paste button and it will copy itself in there. So let's just make it look more pretty. And yeah, that'll do. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put three buttons. Um, one will be clear. So just so I can show you. So yeah, let's begin. Button one, we'll just call it clear. So I'll show you to clear all the text boxes all at once. The next one can be um, copy, I suppose. And the next one after that, we can make. Okay, cool. So this is not the best looking app, but you'll be able to understand what we're trying to achieve here. So first things first, um, let's go to double click copy. So probably the very first thing I want to do is I want to make another public class. So I'm just going to write public class and I'm going to call it coffee, uh, copy buffer. I don't know why I keep saying coffee. Maybe I need a hit. After that, I'm just going to go dim. I'm going to write things to copy as a copy of buffer. Cool. After that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a few properties. Now, properties are used for storing a string, kind of like isolated storage. So I'm just going to property name as string equals nothing. Property age as string equals nothing. And the last one, but the least, was I think it was yeah, color as string equals nothing. Cool. So we've now done a we've declared the variable as coffee buffer, and now it's time to do the coffee the button. So I'm just going to write copy button. Now what we can do is we can go um, things to copy equals new coffee buffer with, and now that we've done that, we need to put in these curly brackets because this is what we're going to copy. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go, what exactly are we going to copy? Well, we're going to say that, uh, well, name is coming from text box one dot text. Put another comma. Our age is coming from text box two dot text. And the color is coming from text box three dot text. All right, so we should probably put in text. Great, so that's basically 
what that's doing is it's going to copy these and it's going to put them here into these priority uh, property ones. After that, we'll go to paste. So this is our paste button. Now what we're going to do is we're going to say if things to copy is nothing, then things to copy equals new coffee offer. What I'm doing here is I'm basically telling that that hey if, if I haven't already pressed copy and I press paste first before I press copy, just create a new coffee buffer, you know, and it'll automatically make these to nothing anyways. So what this is doing is it's just telling the program not to crash. Now what we're gonna do is with with things to copy and now we can basically the location we wanted to paste it to. So we could say Textbox for dot text equals dot name. Textbox five dot text equals dot age. And textbox six dot text equals dot dot color. And that's basically it. So within thirty lines of code, you can basically say. To get technical, you can say twenty six lines of code. Um, You've just created a copy of the way of how we'll show you right now basically so let me just quickly do this text equals nothing text box two text equals nothing text box three dot text equals nothing text box four dot text equals nothing text box five dot text equals nothing you could write nothing too I suppose if you want to do and text box six dot text equals nothing so that will clear them let's begin. So I'll start the program. Let's hurry up and compile it. It shouldn't take too long. Although my computer isn't the fastest thing in the world. So we're within 35 lines of code. So I can just write Andrew, my age, 24, yep. My favourite colour, blue. Great. So I can now copy and now press paste. There we have it. It's now there. Now if I press clear and press paste again, hey, there it is. How cool is that? If I'm the copy it, it's just copy that text, press paste, there we have it. If I'm gonna put in Andrew twenty-five, number twenty-four, oops, twenty-four, favorite colours blue, copy, paste, there we have it. Now let's say that my now favorite colour is red. We could copy that, I guess, and paste. And there we have it. It's now red. And once again, if I am to clear everything, everything's cleared. If I press paste, there we have it. So yeah, this is just a quick tutorial on how you can still get the data or something, even if it's been lost from other text boxes. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, please comment and subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.